In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a paper cut effect in DaVinci Resolve. So first of all, let's go ahead and create a new Fusion composition. Let's add our background. Okay, in order for this to work, you need to download some textures. So you can go over to unsplash.com or any website for free textures you will find different textures you can go ahead and choose any textures that you want there is no strict rule on how many textures you want to use or which kind of textures you want to use i just went ahead and downloaded some clothing textures so it looks like this as you can see some look like this some look like clothing textures you can even go ahead and use some cardboard textures as well so this totally depends up to you which kind of textures that you want you can go ahead and use them so make sure that you know what kind of a text that you want so right now i need a four letter text i'm going to go ahead and write a four letter text so for that i only need four different textures so i have more than four textures because i also need one for the background but i just went ahead and downloaded all of these but you can go ahead and download as many textures as you want according to how many letters are you going to be using so right now I'm going to go ahead with four letters. That's why I'm going to choose four different textures and one texture just for the background. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, let me go ahead and drag this texture, ADN1. And now what you can do is you can drag this polygon tool right above it. And now you can create a shape like this. So this can be any random shape. Then go ahead and connect it with the median one. And as you can see, we have this over here. Now what you need to do is you need to select the merge and then move it around. So make sure you have the merge selected if you want to move. And now what you can do is you can drag a text. So go ahead, connect this text with the merge and you can go ahead, write any letter. I'm going to go ahead with B. And for this, I'm going to set the font at Open Sans Condensed. And let's drag this right here. And let me also increase the size a bit. Like this. And I'm also going to just give it a bit different rotation. So you can do that in the layout section like this. All right, so this is the first text that we have with the texture background. Let's go ahead and do it for another one. I'm going to drag this texture and once again, create a mask. So you can go ahead and do this on your own. I'm just going to quickly show you. Just go ahead and follow like I showed you with the letter B. Go ahead and follow the same steps. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and make these. So now that we have created all of these, let's go ahead and start animating. So first of all, I'm going to select this polygon tool and you can see that we have a rotation over here. So let's go ahead and create some keyframes. So I'm going to set a keyframe at rotation Z. Then go over to 5 and change the rotation a bit. Go over to 10, change the rotation again, 15 again and at 20 once again. Once you have that, go over to spline and select your polygon one and make sure all of these are visible. Select all of them and set it to set loop. Now, if you go ahead and play this, we'll see that this is how it will look like. But what you can do is once again, select this and also 
click on step out. So now if we go ahead and play this, you will see that we get a stop animation like this. You can also do the same thing for the text as well. Set the font at this and then you can go over to five and you can then change the font to something else. Open sans, then at 10 you can again change the font. And at 15, once again, change the font and at 20, again, change the font. And then go over to spline and make sure that your text is selected and then Select all of the keyframes and click on set loop. And this is how it will appear now. So let me go ahead and quickly do this for the rest of the text as well. You can also go ahead and follow along. Right, so here you can see we have an animation loop going on and now what we can do is we can also add a background so this is optional you can go ahead and do this if you want i'm just going to show you because this will look much better so if you go ahead and change the angle and go ahead and set it to the background and now if you go ahead and play this you will see that this is how it looks so this is how you can create custom paper cut animations that you see in many stop motion videos so this is the way to do it in davinci resolve i hope you like the video and i'll see you in the next one